all right guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be drilling some drain holes in jj's frame uh you can look down in here and see all the uh crud it's got gravel it's got dirt anyway it's uh it's pretty pretty gnarly down in there so JJ's frame is in good shape, but I want to get all that junk out today. So today we're going to be drilling both sides, and I've got a plan about doing that. So let's get to it. All right, so where I'm going to be drilling the holes at, a lot of people drill them right in here. I'm not. I want to drill mine up through this hole right here. Uh, and I think it's... Uh, three eighths inch is what I'm gonna do. I saw another guy on YouTube do that. Uh, people worry about drilling it in the center of your frame right here out in the open, it weakening the frame, which I don't think it will at all. I mean, it's got round holes in it everywhere. But right here, it is it's captured by a brace that's welded in and you're drilling the hole up in a captured point that there's no chance of one hole weakening the frame so that's where i want to put mine at i have a uh, i have a punch here to to get my hole started and the frame is flat up until about right here and so i like the way the hole the position of the hole right here better than back here because i can wash all the debris up to the front or to the back i'm gonna do the same back here and this where the frame curves up will help hold everything and the water in position so it can drain out of the hole and there's plenty room up under this control arm for all the dirt and stuff to come out and i'm going to try to put a catch pan down there when i get all these holes drilled and catch all the dirt and debris and see how much is actually in the frame That's one done and I ended up going with a little bit bigger than three eighths uh, it just seemed like that was a little bit small for Let's see if I can get you up here and see what we've got I'm gonna get me some paint The size I ended up going with was 13 30 seconds and 13 30 seconds is 
uh, right here it is less than seven sixteenths uh, but bigger than three eighths it's like right between seven sixteenths and three eighths so let me get these other three areas drilled out i'm not going to drag that out with you and then we're going to go and try to wash this frame out and see how much crap i can get out of there all right i cut the camera back on this one right here is at a, a, a more of a severe angle than the front one is i'm just going to show you that it works on this one too just like the front one So that one right there it goes up in there just like the front one does. Don't let the angle of the hole scare you on the back. And maybe you can see up in there. You can see up in there, there's the hole. And so this thing is surrounded by this metal bracket welded here and here and on the other side there's no reason for that to ever cause any problems got me a a wash bucket it's clean it's going to catch anything that comes up that front hole and i'm going to flush it out from this hole right here going forward as good as i can and some stuff may come out of this hole but i just want to kind of see what i can get out of that front hole Just gonna use a regular nozzle. That's not all the dirt and stuff out of this one. Let's see what we've got right there. So I'm going to I'm going to flush for a little while, try to get some of this out, and I'll come back when I got the frame clean. Works like a charm. I'm gonna fill my frame full of water and show you how well it drains out. Drains out super fast. I'm really proud of those results. I didn't get all the trash out, but I got a lot of it out. So the frame just finished draining, and we're good to go. Well, guys, I know that's a super short video, but this is something that I really believe needs to be done on every Jeep Wrangler TJ. Uh, they don't come with drain holes from the battery and they need them if you're riding through like a muddy creek crossing or something and these holes right here go underwater mud and everything else is going to go up in there and that's what happened to jj with the previous owner that's where all that gravel came from i got all the dirt and stuff uh out of it but I'm, there's still a little bit of gravel in there not too concerned about that at, at this point i know that this frame is not going to be holding water and uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while and now it is done and I don't have to worry about it no more. 
my frame's good and thick and all the areas where I drill through I don't have any rust issues on the inside of my frame so everything is good and y'all if you want to put some holes in your frame I recommend putting them inside those brackets right there uh, if you looked under the Jeep just to inspect it you'd think it didn't have holes in the frame for draining but it does and that's why I would recommend putting them at because it's in the reinforced kind of a bucket area that's captured no way you're weakening the frame by putting four round holes under the four brackets so that wraps up this video guys thank y'all for watching uh if you liked the video if it helped in any way leave, leave a thumbs up leave a comment uh leave a comment if you put uh, holes in your frame if you've already put holes in your frame if you did it different what size bed you used uh all of that will help other viewers down in the comment section because most people run down to the comment section if the video don't give them the answer they're looking for to see if someone else may have left a comment so your input is valuable to this channel y'all come back next time we'll see what we got going then yeah